It's easy to get Apple Pay set up on your merchant account, and today I'm going to walk you through exactly what you need to do to make that happen. If you're using Collect Checkout, our hosted shopping cart solution, you just have to do the first part of this video and you're good to go. However, if you're using CollectJS and are building your own payment form on your website and you want to add an Apple Pay button, watch the second half of this video as well to see how you do that. Regardless of how you're using Apple Pay, you want to go to Settings first and then go to the Apple Pay Settings page. From here, the most important thing is to double check Apple Pay's Terms of Service. These are Apple's Terms of Service for using Apple Pay in the first place. And so just make sure that you are okay with all of this. The big thing to look at here are the products that they don't allow to be sold through Apple Pay. If you're not selling these products, then you should be good to go. Once I've read the Terms of Service, I can check the box and enable Apple Pay. If you're using Collect Checkout, our hosted shopping cart solution, then you're good to go. Just go over to the Collect Checkout button generator, create a new button, and you'll see Apple Pay as a valid payment method, and it'll be checked by default on all buttons you create going forward. Now, if you're using CollectJS and want to put an Apple Pay button on your site, there's one more step you have to do before you update your integration. We need to know what domains are going to be using Apple Pay buttons with your gateway. And so to do that, you click Add a Domain, and then there are three easy steps to make this happen. You have to tell us what the domain is of your website, you have to download a verification file, and then you have to upload that verification file to your web server. Once all those are completed, you can add the domain. So let's do one right now. So I've got example.com. It does have to be a secure site. You have to be HTTPS enabled, otherwise Apple Pay won't work at all. So we require that in your domain name. You can download the file. There we go. And this is just going to be a random string or what looks like a random string of letters and numbers. You can upload this to exactly here. And so we make this a link so you can click it. And if you see the file, then you know that everything is good to go. Once it is, check the file has been uploaded and then add the domain. So there we go. The domain is added. I can see it here. I can see a timestamp for when it was added to my gateway. And I can delete it if I ever want to not use this domain anymore. Now, be aware that if you do delete the domain, it's going to immediately break all Apple Pay buttons on that site. So make sure that you aren't using it or relying on it before you do that. So this is a page I have set up that's already integrated to CollectJS. I'm using CollectJS to render the card number field, the expiration, and the CVV. These are all iframes that CollectJS is serving to my site. But I also have an Apple Pay button up here, so how did I do that? So here's the code for that website, and you can see some basic stuff in the header, and then I have the script that loads CollectJS and configures it with all the things that I'm doing. You can see some styling, custom font, and all that is there. And then these three variables down here are things you probably don't have in your CollectJS integration today. Those are country, price, and currency. And these fields are required by Apple Pay for us to show things in the sheet that'll display on top of your website when a customer taps the Apple Pay button. Then you need to tell us where to put the button on your site. Where does the Apple Pay button go? And so just like other fields with CollectJS inline, you create a div with an ID of Apple Pay button, and that's exactly where we'll put it. So you can see all I've done is put a div here with that ID. It's an empty div with nothing there, but CollectJS will see that and then fill in the Apple Pay button wherever that is. If you've done a Google Pay integration already, you'll know this is exactly the same as Google Pay. So I have that commented out, but I could uncomment that so that I have both of these options on my page. And when I refresh the page, you can see there's an Apple Pay button and a Google Pay button, and they're basically the same. Now there are some things you can change about this button. You'll notice right off the bat that it's a little shorter than the Google Pay button. Maybe you don't like that. You can go ahead and change that. There are tons of variables you can pass in to modify the button. These are documented in our integration portal. And if you're familiar with the Apple Pay SDK, their web SDK already, then you can probably figure these out on your own. I'm going to add a couple rules now to my integration to see what I can change. Okay, so I just added a bunch of things to my integration. You can see them all here. They start with Apple Pay selector, required billing. These are all basically variables that Apple has, but we have something down here to make the style height 40 pixels. Uh, we can actually make this white outline, and that's going to change the look of this. And then I have products, so I'm passing in products, so the sheet that comes up will have specific products that they're buying, and there's all sorts of stuff here. It's a buy button, so you can change different uh, text to show on there. I'm just using the default buy one. But if I go back here and reload, I should see the white button that's the same height as the Google Pay one, and that's more what I want on my website. So there's a lot of configuration you can do. You can customize this experience to an extent. It is Apple Pay, so there's only so much you can do. You can't totally change everything, but within the constraints of the Apple Pay SDK, we enable basically all of that through CollectJS and try to make it easier for you to integrate than using the SDK directly. 
If you have any questions about adding Apple Pay to your CollectJS integration, you can always feel free to contact our integration support team.